Here we're gonna look at what I think is a pretty streamlined proof of a very classic geometry problem. So this is Thales proportionality theorem. And this is really just part of my goal to get better at elementary geometry and really like instill my, into myself the intuition so that I can give you guys harder geometry videos in the future. Okay, so let's see the setup. We've got a triangle A, B, C, and then we have situated D and E along, along line segments A, B, and A, C, so that D, E is parallel to B, C. And what this theorem says is that A, D over B, D is equal to A, E over E, C. What I mean by that is the length of line segment A, D over the length of line segment B, D, is equal to the length of line segment AE over the length of line segment EC. Okay, so let's jump into it. So we're gonna introduce some new line segments into this picture. So we're gonna connect C with D. So I'll do that like this. Then we're also gonna connect B with D. So I'll do that like that. And then we're gonna connect D to line segment AE via a normal line. So that'll go here and hit at a 90 degree angle. And then we're gonna similarly connect E with AD at a 90 degree angle. So that'll give us something like this. Now we're gonna give these points over here some names so that we can talk about them later. We'll call this one P and then we'll call this one Q. Then I'm gonna do one more thing and that is drop a perpendicular from maybe this point E down to B, C. Although we could drop it from anywhere along this line segment D, E, but I'll just take it from here down to here. Let's point out that that's perpendicular and I'll call this point right here R. Okay, great. Now we're ready to get calculating. So like I said previously, I have streamlined this process. So I'm just gonna start at the left-hand side and then perform a bunch of calculations and end up at the right-hand side. And I think this is a nice, elegant way of writing this proof down after you've maybe worked it out via some exploration. So like I said, we're gonna start over here, AD over BD. Now I'm gonna multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same thing. So I'm gonna multiply the numerator by one half. I still have my AD up there, and then I'm gonna also multiply by EP. One half, and then we'll have BB, and then EP. So I've multiplied the numerator and the denominator by half EP. In other words, the length of that line segment EP. Now we'll look over here at our picture, and notice in the numerator, we have exactly the area of this triangle ADE, which is this top portion here. So let's maybe go ahead and write that in the numerator. We have area triangle ADE. Then let's see what's going on in the denominator. We have one half BDEP. So that's BD and then EP. But notice EP is an exterior altitude for triangle B. E, D, or B, D, E, maybe. So that means that in the denominator here, we have the area of triangle B, D, E. Now I'm gonna leave the numerator as is, so we'll just copy that down. And then we're gonna calculate the area of this triangle in the denominator slightly differently. So we have triangle B, D, E. So like I said, B, D, E. Notice that we can also write that as the length of line segment DE, and then our altitude would be ER, and then we obviously have to multiply by a half. So let's do that. We've got a one half DE times ER. But if we look at that product, we'll see that that measures another triangle that is in this picture. And the other triangle in the picture with those same height and base measurements is triangle CDE. So that means we can replace this denominator with the area of triangle CDE. So let's do that. So my numerator is the same, and then my denominator is now area of triangle CDE. Okay, great. Now we will re-express the numerator and the denominator as one half base times height, but we'll use a different expression than we did before for the area of the triangle in the numerator and a different one for the area of the triangle in the denominator. So let's notice for the numerator, we can write this as one half and then AEDQ. So let's maybe look over here so that we can see that. So that's gonna be A. E, D, Q. So notice if we use this as our base, then this serves as an altitude, this line segment D, Q. So that checks out. And then in the denominator, we'll have that this is one half and then C, E, D, 
Q. So let's maybe look at that while we're at it. So we have C, E, and then notice D, Q will be an external altitude for this triangle C, D, E. So that also checks out. But notice some stuff here cancels. The half cancels with the half. The DQ cancels with the DQ. And we're left with AE over CE, which is exactly what we wanted to show. And that's a good place to stop.